Hello, hello, hope you guys are having a fabulous day. It's Michelle here, and I'm back with another pregnancy update for you. Okay, so today is Sunday. It's a really gloomy, rainy, cloudy day. It's nice and cozy. I've been kind of sick again with another cold cough situation. I'm so over it, <laughs> but I am 33 weeks today. Can you guys believe I'm 33 weeks? Ha! Ah! If you guys are brand new, you guys know the drill, hit the subscribe button down below. And also, if you haven't been watching any of these pregnancy update videos, I always have them linked down below in the description box so you can see like my most recent one and just like the whole playlist. Okay, so let me update you guys with my symptoms, my weight gain, everything. We are getting so close. So if you guys do not know, I am having fraternal twin girls. So fraternal means they're in their own amniotic sacs, they have their own placentas, and it mostly means it's like a 75% chance that they're fraternal, but they could be born and they could be identical because sometimes the egg can split before the three days after being fertilized and it can still be identical. So we won't know 100% until they're born and I have to do testing uh, if it's not like obvious. So that's kind of what will happen later on. But because they are twins, my doctor will not let me go past the 38 week mark. And I know that there's been some controversy with this because some people are like, well, the babies need to be in, the, in there as long as possible. The difference with this is that with twins, it's a completely different pregnancy than a singleton pregnancy for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes the placenta can start to deteriorate and die off, um, especially when there's twins. It can die off sooner, so it's not healthy. Also, twin moms are more prone to preeclampsia and that sort of thing. So a lot of times they have emergency C-sections, all that. So a lot of times, I'm not saying in every single case, but a lot of times that is why doctors do not let their patients that have twins go past a certain point. So because I am having fraternal twins, it's like kind of the healthiest, easiest kind of twin pregnancy then I'm going to 38 weeks. I know a lot of other times when they're sharing a placenta or sharing a sac, they'll be induced at like 36 weeks or you know, just depending on the situation. So I thought I would give you guys that background just so you're kind of familiar with what's going on and why. And like, it's not just me trying to rush it and get the babies out. Cause I know that's like so controversial here on YouTube. Like with my other pregnancies, people are like, you need to have your babies in there as long as possible. Why are you trying to rush it? The babies will come out when they want to come. But in this case, no, my doctor will not let that happen because of my situation. So, and you guys know I have my gallbladder problems, which we'll talk about soon too. So I thought I would tell you guys why I'm counting down five weeks instead of like seven weeks. Do you know what I mean? Okay, now that I have that all settled and taken care of, I wanted to share with you guys my symptoms. So my gallbladder has been a lot better. I actually met with the surgeon last week and he wants to meet with me six weeks postpartum to see if I'm still having the gallbladder problems. And then if I am, then we will look at it and then I will get my gallbladder removed. But hopefully I'm praying that my hormones will be a lot better by that point and hopefully I can just eat normally again. I totally notice when I eat differently that it affects me. It's horrible, especially sweets. And I can't eat, like you think gallbladder problems would just be solved by eating healthy, but I can't have fresh vegetables. I can't have fresh fruit. I can't have like broccoli roasted, whatever. I cannot have that kind of stuff. It's very strict. And I know a lot of you guys have asked me for a list of that. So maybe I'll post it on my Facebook page because I don't want to email it out to everyone because that would take a long time. So maybe I'll post that list of what the surgeon gave me of what I can and cannot eat. I have also started to experience a lot of rib pain on my left side, which is odd because you guys know with the gallbladder, it's all been on my right side, but my left side has been aching at night horribly. Just, I am in so much pain as far as just like my body. I just cannot, I have no room for these babies to go. And I had my doctor appointment last week and they did the ultrasound and both of the baby girls are measuring perfectly to the day. They're both the exact same size. They're both four pounds right where they're supposed to be at 33 weeks. I was so grateful for that, but the most exciting part is that both of them are head down, both of them. So baby A is head down, and that's the most important because she's first. And then baby B last month was breached, but she flipped, and so they're both head down, and I can feel both of them kicking me at all times. But my doctor was super excited because obviously you can't know 100%, but he's like, it's looking really, really good that you're gonna be able to try for vaginal delivery. And that just makes me super excited because this whole pregnancy has been so much of the unknown for me and so much going on that I'm like, what is going on with my body? This is so different. So if I could deliver the way I have been able to deliver the last three times, I feel like that'd be so fabulous. And obviously if something happens and I get a C-section, that's not the end of the world. 
if, as long as the babies get here and I'm fine and they're fine, that's what we want. But if I get to try, then I get really excited about that. So my doctor was pretty happy for me. So what is next? I am now going to be seeing my doctor every single week. So I see him this coming Friday and I'm doing a non-stress test and then I'm just seeing him every week until the end. So I'm really excited to share with you guys the names that Brad and I have picked out for our twin girls. And weight gain, I have gained, let's see, 44-ish pounds, give or take a two or three pounds, depending on the time of day, um, but just over 40 pounds. So I'm just starting to swell everywhere. I can just like see it in my face when I edit my videos. I'm like, that is not me. Uh, but the nursery's coming together and I'm packing my hospital bag today, just getting stuff ready and that's gonna be a video as well. But I don't have any stretch marks yet on my stomach. Um, let me show you guys my stomach right now. Here is my belly. Look how big it's getting, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's like taking up the whole screen. There she is. I feel like she's dropping low. It's like so different than when I carried with just one baby. Okay, so that is it for my pregnancy update for week 33. You guys, we are getting so close to the end. And it's been like really beautiful weather here. Really sunny and I'm just getting so excited because I can feel it. I'm not sleeping great also because I'm waking up every hour or two to pee and I'm coughing a lot and I have like congestion so I'm just not sleeping very well and I'm just at the point where I'm like I'm so done but I know they still need a few more weeks to cook so it's a lot it's a lot so thanks for sticking with me on this little journey and if you guys have any questions comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you and to answer you with all those and we'll see you guys in my next video bye